Alrighty guys, my name is Jeep Time. Oh yeah, and I am, I'm back. I wouldn't say back. I I'm I'm gonna try to post some more stuff since I've been I haven't posted in like a literal month or more than that. I haven't checked, but I haven't posted in a while. This video is just to be, say, like, what's been going on, and, uh, how I'm doing, and what I think I'm gonna be doing with my YouTube channel. Uh, um, this isn't gonna be a Let's Play, unless you guys really want it to be. I can do that, but I was thinking of playing Ghost of Tsushima, or maybe something else. Whatever you guys really want. Bioshock 2, I can continue as well. But I just thought that maybe I should go into a different game since that game isn't so meta anymore, sadly. Uh, I know you guys did love it. Well, some of you guys loved it, but d just let me know if you guys still want it. But yeah, um, let's see. I haven't posted in a while, mostly because I lost motivation, I'd say. Uh, even though a lot of people were like, yeah, your stuff's good, like, it's nice to watch. Um, which really feels good to hear. You know, it's nice to hear that your efforts in making videos are going to, like, help people out with, you know, maybe studying or just listening to my stuff to, um, you know, just do whatever while you're, to listen to while you're doing whatever. But, I'd say one of the biggest things that kept me from making more videos was my, the things, the resources and tools that I had to make videos. Uh, before, I had, um, back then, when I made videos, I actually, um, geez, the sensitivity is really low, I actually use my laptop which was pretty slow it got the job done it recorded my audio well but you know it's still like a poopy laptop so i needed to upgrade and after a month or two i actually got a a really really good deal on this pc um from one of my friends and it was really nice of him and I really appreciated it why did I make sticks um but yeah now I have a pretty good PC it's good for pretty much anything that I really need to do I'd say um I'm really excited to be starting on PC since I've been a console gamer for since I started playing video games so now that I have the PC, I was like, hmm, maybe it'd be a good idea to start posting again. So here I am, um, posting. Um, pretty excited to start again, with especially with the new PC. You know, I bought the mic, and then I recorded a couple things, and afterwards I stopped using it. And I really don't want to do that, because I paid a lot of money for this mic, and... I want to use it to its full potential. Um, but yeah, I'd say that's what really kept me from recording. Um, let me just make sure. I'd say that's really what kept me from recording or wanting to record. But now that I have this, I do want to start up again and get some video get videos out there for you guys. Um, how I've been doing, uh, I've been doing pretty well. School started up since I last posted, and it's been going really well. Um, I've actually changed how I do my work, or like how I start off the day. Um, I had a really nice talk with one of my friends, my closer friends, about, um, we started the conversation with, um, like, how, how are you liking this new system of distance learning and stuff? Oh, and then that yeah. turned into, like, how people, 
do their work and how they go for, go with it. And my friend had said, like, you know, it's all about how you um, have your behavior during it. Pretty much like environment and how your mind is like, yo, it's time to work. Or how your mind can sometimes be like, yo, it's time to sleep. And he had said that um, the smell of coffee and all that gets him into gets him into school mode. And you know, when you're in school mode, you're obviously gonna do work because your your mind is like, yo, time to do some work. And I was like, hey, that's actually really interesting because when you think about it. When you really think about it and think about what you do every day, there really is like a system to how you do your things. He had said that you have to be repetitive with what you do. And uh, the first example I thought of was a problem that I was having before was whenever I got bored, I would watch YouTube videos and lay down. And then that turned into going to sleep whenever I was bored, which would, you know, Never really liked sleeping in the middle of the day, mostly because a lot of the day is gone. And also because um, <clears throat> I would end up staying up late since I slept during the day. And that always sucked, but I took that into a lot of consideration and I changed up all the things that I do in my morning. Um, I've been waking up at 7 uh getting dressed and all that you know normal stuff god stupid <sighs> so annoying i uh, wake up get some coffee and uh i'm pretty much copying what he said but i mean i like coffee so um that's why i chose to you know drink coffee or make some coffee in the morning and uh you know I get my coffee, sit down at my um, my desk and do homework and work. Uh, what I used to do, which is not very good, I would uh, wake up right when, right before class was gonna start. And then I'd um, get to class, get through class, and then do homework, like procrastinate homework super hard. And after I had that talk with him, I was like, hey, I should probably change that and keep my grades. Well, my grades are fine before, but I just, I didn't like worrying about assignments so much. So I changed that and it really, really helped. It really helped out and, you know, made me change a lot of things about what I do. Now I have like times when I do things and... I know what I'm going to do next instead of just laying down and doing nothing. Uh, that's why I also wanted to start doing videos too because it gives me something to do that I like doing a lot. I really do like doing this, um, you know, recording videos for you guys. And uh, that might be contradictory to me not posting for so long. But it, I really did enjoy doing it a lot. It was it was a really fun time. And I want to continue doing that for you guys as much as possible. As much as I can... As much as I can do for you guys. And, you know, as of now, I don't, I don't have very much subscribers. I think I have like 25. But that's okay. Those 25 people like watching me, and I like giving them things to watch, you know? Um, I'd say that being able to change so much after just a small talk, or like a, a decent sized talk with my bud was pretty good for me. I really needed it. It was a talk that I knew that I needed before I need, even did it. And it really helped me out to change how everything works in my life now that school's out and 
we're doing uh, online learning. But besides that, we also talked about some other stuff so about college, about how psychology is and how pretty cool it is. You know, psychology is really interesting. Like, there's psychology in almost everything. Pretty much everything. We're talking about some classes. There's a class um, in college, in this college, that is called uh, Psychology in Video Games. And, you know, I love video games and I love psychology. And that class sounded really cool. Apparently, the the professor or the teacher assigns the students a game to play. Well, every so often, it would be a game to play. And then they would be like, hey, this is how this game is, and this is how, like, psychological it is, and how, like, it really, like, feels, and how the game is trying to show you about society and all that. Which is another really cool thing, like, you know, video games are, video games may be, you know, they may be just like whatever, like, oh, like, if you play video games, you're, you don't, you're not, you're not a productive person, you're not a cool person or whatever. I've never heard someone say that, but that's just an example. Um, or like playing games too much is like bad, which it is, I'd say, but a lot of people think that video games are just like video game, time to play video game, boom, video game, just something to do. But I feel like in some video games, it's like really, it's really, it really makes you feel some type of way about the game. Some video games are really good at doing that. For example, I'd say uh, Detroit Become Human. That game is so good in my opinion it just talks about you know for anyone who doesn't know what Detroit Become Human is it's about a world where I'm not I can't remember where the setting is but it's about a world where androids have become the new thing and they've started to have them pretty much as like servants to help them out there's like maids there's there's maids and stuff but then there's even like cop androids that interrogate people and it's just really interesting because that may it already is getting close to that point you've seen these videos of those yellow little robots walking around town just like reacting to things having emotion and we're getting to that point and at eventually i think that you know that can totally happen and it's a little scary to think about, but I guess it's just how the world is going to turn out, probably. Um, like I was saying, it really makes you think, like, wow, what if, I mean, what if we actually end up like this and start having androids as something that does everything for us? Like, for, for example, you know, in the, in the game, there's a part where you play as a detective android and you're supposed to go in and uh, help out with the situation but the people who are in the situation don't want an android to deal with it because you know androids are bad or whatever and it's a machine but like when you think about it they were programmed specifically for that and people uh, people are going to react to that in some type of way you know and then eventually it gets really out of hand and androids begin to really have emotions, like really have emotions and start to fight back and start to say like their lives are what should be, their life should be seen as, as just as humans lives should be. <clears throat> they begin to like have revolts, like re re rebellious intents and you know, that's, Kind of scary, you know, man versus machine. A lot of people say that man can easily defeat machine, but if it really, really gets out of hand, then I feel like scary stuff could happen, and it really just depends on how everything's going on at that time. But, 
people tend to well everyone has an opinion about something and there's always like one side of things and another side of things some people might really like the androids and want them to do everything for them they think it's super awesome and then some other people might think that it's just not helping society in any way and pretty much just ruining it ruining it and making it worse you know t they're taking jobs and eventually no one's gonna have many things to do of course there's some jobs that you know robots can't do i can't really think of anything right now but there is a lot but as i was saying that just that game itself just really makes you think about our future as people and how the world may actually turn out eventually um but psychology is really cool and i really want to get into it um let's see what else what else has happened um I can't really think of much else. Um, I guess school's been pretty cool, pretty okay. After, of course, after I've changed a lot, uh, school's a breeze. You know, I don't understand how some people can like really hate hate it. Well, okay, I can understand why they can hate it. Of course, I mean, I don't like it at all. Okay, that's <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, let me start over. I I can deal with it. It's 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 easy and it's not hard. It doesn't mess with anything in my life. However, it really sucks not being able to see your friends and all that since you know we had to stay indoors. We can't or we can, but it's harder. It's sometimes just like people really don't want to hang out because you know it's 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 a really dangerous virus, you know things can happen anything can happen and you know people can fear that but in my opinion school so far has been pretty easy it sucks it really does but i haven't had that big of a problem with it um i prefer to go back but uh in the state that we're in now um, as in complete like the whole country and whole uh, we're not doing so good and I haven't checked in a while but when I checked before it was just getting worse so I don't know how long this can last for but I know it's gonna last a while and that just is a little scary to think about but besides that school has been pretty okay and I've liked it and it's been nice to wake up and feel accomplished after doing some stuff in school. You know, that's another thing. You That's another thing that can really change, you know, feeling accomplished. Before, I would just do work. Like, when I would procrastinate, I would do my work and be like, Oh, okay, I finished it. That's kind of that's kind of cool. But, you know, I never felt like, wow, like, I was responsible and I did this immediately. No. I waited a while and then did it. But, you know, showing, having accomplishments can really make you feel a lot better. And it's, it really feels Ow. nice to be able to do stuff like Ow. that. Um, I really do enjoy playing video games. But, you know, sometimes you gotta do things for yourself to be a healthy person. You know, and then what's the definition of a healthy person? And that's a hard thing to say. You know, a lot of people think it's just like, you know, having money. Which is pretty hard, like pretty, like that's a big subject. You know, money, can, money can't buy you happiness. Um, but in my opinion, being happy is just being able to go through your life and you know, still live as a normal person, you know, don't just pretty much be able to do what you want to do and have a sense of like, hey, 
I'm a, I'm doing pretty good. Like I'm, I feel like me as a person, I am contributing things to society, even if it's just small things like, you know. Um. <clears throat> you know, making your teachers' lives easier by doing your work, and you know, making friends. You know, maybe in the future they can help you out. And then you could grow as a person and then help out society in that way. Um, but I really, I really think I'm in a good state right now. And I think I'm doing pretty good. I really do, I really do like the situation I'm in right now. It could be better, especially with, you know, distance learning. But... Besides that, honestly, everything else is completely fine. I still have my family, my friends. I still have people who support me and love me. And that really is what I feel you need the most sometimes. People strive off of that completely. You know, their lives depend on other people. And that's just how it is. <clears throat> Which then brings a question like... This is completely off topic, but this is another subject that me and my bed talked about. Was like, what is a form of life? Is it just, well, this song is like perfect for this <laughs> talk. Like, what is the meaning of a form of life? What, what is considered a life form? And, you know, that question is, is, I'd say unanswered. Like, no one really... Oh. No one really knows for sure just what a form of life is. Like, we think... We we think... And we do. And, you know... I'm jacking all these potatoes, bro. We do what we... We, as humans... Are supposed to do you know think and all that and if that is the definition of a life form just being able to have emotion and think and react to things then is a simple let's see is a simple PC the same as a life form is a PC a life form in their eyes like are we their gods as we are um people to our god <clears throat> and you know when you really think about it like pcs are really similar to our brain there's the <clears throat> there's our mind where we our long-term memory where we keep all of these memories um and then there's a the short term where we keep all these memories and then you know have them for a little bit and then they just end up not existing anymore that's the exact same thing for pcs you know they make lives easier our lives easier and they have all this data that's inside of them and it's a lot like our brains and if that's considered a life form is just a big question in my opinion you know our brain is just a freaking heckin thing of meat and stuff I don't really know what it's made of but that really shapes our life Com it doesn't shape it it like controls it completely you know our brain is a lot different from our body like the brain controls everything it, the brain is made to get inputs and then get out it gives outputs for example like fight or flight fight or flight uh, something triggers in your brain and it gives you your body responses <clears throat> you know it gives you adrenaline and you know that's your brain working and it's it's just what happens when something suspenseful or anything happens you know it's just like how when you smell coffee or how if you do coffee every morning, you know, you smell the coffee and then you get into the mode of whatever you've been doing <clears throat> all those all those mornings. Um, another example is like 
when you get really repetitive with your things, then like that's how you have to do it to be able to do what you want to do. Like for example, sleeping. Some people have slept in pitch black and they're used to that and they can only sleep in that environment. And you know, there's no other way. Or like you sleep on your side, you got to sleep on your side. You listen to this playlist, then you got to listen to your You don't have to, but it really helps out and it really like puts you your bot your brain into like, "All right, he's going to sleep. They're going to sleep." And, you know, that's just why the brain is such a big factor of, of your life. You know, it controls it completely. And, you know, the study of the brain is really interesting, in my opinion. Uh, it really makes you... It really gives you a different look on life whenever you go get into it yourself. Which has... It has changed like well, how I see things after just a small talk with my friend and I guess that kind of shows how it could really change a lot boxing you get really in depth and that's what I like doing you know I'm not going to be serious like this all the time or not serious more like just like talking about life you know I will now and then and I will talk about how I'm doing but you know I'm still going to be commentating on the game on that game right now i i i'm i <clears throat> since i'm in autopilot and just like looking at the game i've actually not been thinking of what i've been doing and i think i've just been running around and getting random stuff i mean i do have a lot of stuff i got all this stuff in my inventory i got 51 potatoes but i haven't been talking about almost i haven't even talked about the game like once or Definitely not a lot. Um, but, you know, I I will. In future videos, I will be talking about the game mostly. You know, every so often, talk about something funny that happened or something cool that happened. Make some jokes. Make some bad jokes. Make some good jokes. <clears throat> but that's just how I, you know, how that's how I am. That's how... I want to be myself for you guys, and I will try my best to be myself. And this is myself when I get into talking about things that I really find find really interesting. Um, I think we'll be ending the video here soon. I do want to keep on talking, but I I need to test out how all this editing works. I need to see how oh how it all fits in. But, um, if you guys could give me some feedback in the comments what you guys want to see next. I could continue this, but I'm not doing much. Uh, <clears throat> if you guys have any, um, any suggestions, then please give them to me because I, I don't know where to start. I could go back to Bioshock, I could start Ghost of Tsushima, I could, I could do whatever you guys want. Um, I could even just record, I could even just record my voice and talk sometimes. It's whatever you guys want, but the only one condition is I'm not going to play The Last of Us 2. I'm sorry, but I can't go through that game. I, 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 I don't know. I just can't. The, 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 the way it started, the way it began, I mean, I'm sure... The game itself is good. I'm sure all the mechanics are great. I just do not like how they started it off with the story. So, that's my only condition. I guess if you guys really, really want it, then maybe. But, as of now, I do not want to play that game. Uh, besides that, um, that's how I've been doing. And that's a small explanation of... Not a small explanation. An explanation of what's been going on with me and why I haven't been posting too much. But I think I'm back. I think I'm back. And I really hope you guys enjoy this video. And I'll talk to you guys later.
Yeah. 